And now for the ever popular Longhorn. You can't have the Old West without some form of cattle and being from Texas, Longhorn are popular. I've got a heart. This is has to be fashion toffee, but I've blown it up where it's just starting to lobe a little bit and you can see the dark spots. We'll use those for the nose here a little bit. Those would be the lobes and I've got a white 160 that I've blown up with about five or six inches uninflated and then a light brown 260 that's blown up with about maybe five inches uninflated on that. We're going to start with the 260. I'm going to make about a two inch bubble followed by a small round that's going to become a pinch twist. And then I'm going to take that pinch twist and I'm going to split it into two smaller bubbles just like that. And I need another bubble the same size as this one. And we're going to lock those together like that. Now I want two small fold twists. Make sure that stays in place. And the fold twist, as you can see, is just enough that it's almost an oversized pinch twist, but I want it to be sort of rounded there more. Two of those the same size. Those will be a cheap in a minute. And we're going to give them about an inch to an inch in that bubble for a neck. A pinch twist. And there's two front legs about two and a half inches long. Lock that back into the pinch twist like that. And that pinch twist helps them stand up nice and straight. And about a two inch body. Another pinch twist that this is going to be his backside. And I'm going to split this pinch twist as well. And you'll see why in a minute that'll hold his tail up straight. And then two back legs. Same size as the front leg. We're going to remove this excess because I'm going to give him a different tail. Gives him a little more character. So we're going to like that. There's the basic body of our longhorn. And we're going to take our heart and I'm going to attach the nozzle right in the middle of his head here. Where all of these come together. And the two fold twists that I put on the sides of his head not only give his head a little more character, but they also help hold the heart out straight so it's not flopping around. Now we're going to take our white 160. Well, I'm going to do it this way. I take and I'm going to fold it in half and give it a squeeze and see how it lengthens that. That awful also softens all the rest of it. And I'm going to tie it off right there at the end. And then trim the excess. Hang on to this. This is going to be its tail in a minute. You see now this is very soft for me extending it that way. I'm going to divide that into two bubbles, just like that. Now I'm going to take that where I just divided it and twist it at the base of his head. Because not only does this give him horns, this also gives him eyes. And I'll take those two and lay them alongside his head. And where they line up with that double pinch twist, lock them together. And then just bring them around and cross them over behind the two pinch twists there. And there's his eyes and his horns in one smooth shot. And then as you can see with that split pinch twist, his horns will want to stay nicely on the sides of his head that way. And I'll just give him a little shape like that. And there's his head. And then I'm going to take that white that I had left over, suck a little bubble onto the end of it, figure out how long I want his tail, and then tie it off. Trim off any excess. And then I'm going to take that and twist it in right into his little back tie here. And then again, where I split that pinch twist, now I can take his tail and I can pull it up between those two and make it stand up like that. Gives him just a little bit more character. Then grab your sharpie. And I'll take and I'll put a little arc over each of the dark spot that would have been his lobes. Those will be his nostrils. Give him a mouth like that. And then some eyes. And there you've got a really cute little longhorn cow.